Webull offers one of the best brokerage account options out there thanks to the fully featured trading app, fee-free investing experience, and the 6 to 12 free shares of stock that you get for signing up and depositing as little as one cent into your new account. Hey, my name is Ryan, and by the time you leave this video, you'll know with absolute confidence how to use the Webull app because I'm going to show you firsthand inside the app how to use and access all of the features from how to read and understand your personal portfolio to where to go to buy stocks, ETFs, options, cryptocurrency, and fractional shares. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you exactly how to read and understand the stocks in your own portfolio. So make sure to stick around through the entire video so you don't miss anything important. If you're here from any of my other 14 Weeble videos, welcome back, nice to see you again, and let's jump into the Weeble app. All right, so the first step that you need to make sure of is that you've not only signed up for Weeble, but you've submitted a brokerage account application that has been approved and your account is open. If you haven't yet signed up for Webull, I've left a link in the description and comment section below, which will take you directly to that sign up page so you can take advantage of those six to 12 free shares of stock with a minimum guaranteed value of $34 up to a potential $30,600. Inside the app, let's go over each of these tabs on the bottom here, and then we'll finish off with the center one that looks like the Webull logo. That's your portfolio. Starting with the feeds tab, I like to think of this as a Twitter within Webull. You can do things like create posts, follow other people, like and comment on other people's posts, follow topics, view other news. You can view how the major indexes are performing like the Dow, S&P, and the NASDAQ. And if you scroll down, you can take a look at trending topics like the most mentions for securities, the most popular topics, and so on. Now there's a really cool feature that I wanna point out to you guys, and if we keep scrolling down, you will see the popular groups section. Now the reason why this is really cool is because if you're interested in one topic, for example, options, uh, you could join what's called the option talk group. And then instead of seeing a mix of everything on your main feed, you could just spend your time in this group only seeing topics related to options. Now you'll notice there are three icons in the very top right corner, the magnifying glass, the plus icon, and then that last symbol. Now the magnifying glass is where you're gonna go to search for any security on Webull. So if you're looking to invest in stock, for example, this is where you'd go to enter that stock name. Now the plus icon to the right of that is where you'll go to create a post, ask a question, you can create a poll, and you can create a WeFolio. Now, what is a WeFolio? This feature lets you create a public portfolio, which lets you compete with others, or you can just track your uh, performance against the major stock indexes. Now, any fractional share eligible stock or ETF can be added to your WeFolio with a minimum investment amount of $5. Now, if you don't want to create your own, you can actually follow other people's like and comment on theirs too. Okay, so the last icon in the top right is the points icon. Webull will reward you with points for engaging with other people's posts and completing daily and learning tasks. Now, what is the point of points? There's literally no point. No point at all. Jumping over to the watch list tab, you can create multiple lists of securities that you're interested in. So for example, if I wanted a list dedicated to tech stocks I'm looking at, another one to travel stocks, another one to cryptocurrency, and one general list of everything I come across, I can set all of those up and then come back at any time and review how those securities are performing. Over on the markets tab, you can view how major US indexes are performing, track crypto, and track global markets. This tab also provides a better perspective on how the overall markets are performing to assist you in deciding what to do with your own portfolio. For example, you can view analytics like advanced answers and decliners across the market, earning surprises, so has a company out or underperformed expectations, as well as analytics like net inflow, so is money flowing into or out of the markets. You can view the IPO center, which is a list of companies that have either filed for an IPO, are available to order, or have been recently listed on an exchange. So if you're looking to get in on a company early, this is where you'd want to go. Now me personally, I do not touch IPOs with a 10 foot 
whole, but if that's your jam, more power to you. You can view other information like top losers and top gainers across the market, the most active, so stocks experiencing a large amount of trading volume, percent turnover, or a wide range. Percent turnover represents the percent of available shares to trade that were actually traded during a period, and the percent range is just a percent difference between the low price for the day and the high price for the day. You can then view options based on indicators like total volume, position increase or decrease, and implied volatility. You can view index options and their performance, and then you can view different analytics like top gainers and top losers across different exchanges. And if we scroll all the way down here, we have access to the industrial heat map. This is a great chart to look at because we can get a much greater sense of how the overall markets are performing. For example, software and IT was up 2.59% on Friday. Today is Sunday, so a non-trading day. Pharma and Med was up 1.96%, while retailers were down 1.63%. But overall, most sectors were in the green. Jumping over to the menu tab, this is where you'll go to access everything account related from claiming your free shares of stock to accessing your paper trade portfolio to changing the app theme. Now y'all better turn this to dark mode or you need to unsubscribe, dislike this video, delete a comment if you made one, and honestly just throw out whatever YouTube viewing device you're using because you do not belong on this platform. Starting off with the promotion center, Webull is always offering different promotions so this is worth checking out every once in a while. For example, right now they're offering a bunch of fractional shares for referring people. So if you know someone who would gain value from the Webull platform, have them sign up using your referral link so you get those fractional shares for referring them and they can take advantage of that sign up offer currently. To access your free shares of stock, you'll hit the My Rewards button under the shortcuts and this is where you'll go every time to claim those shares. Now for everything that you need to know about free shares of stock on Webull, you'll wanna check out my dedicated video on that that topic, which you can access from the Weeble playlist on my YouTube channel. To find common answers to questions that you might have or to get in touch with customer service, you can go to the Help Center. Under the Settings button, you can edit your account information, apply for options and crypto trading, customize the layout of the app, or if you want, you could set up the Stock Lending Income Program. Next is the Market Quotes section. This is where you'll go to subscribe to receive real-time stock quotes across many different exchanges. By default, Webull does provide real-time stock quotes for one exchange, but for example, if you were to subscribe to the national best bid and offer for $9.99 a month, you would see the best bid and ask prices across 16 different exchanges. Now, as more of a long-term investor myself, this isn't really that important to me, but if you are a day trader or more of a short-term trader, this can be more important for you. Next, Webull allows you to set up alerts for stocks, options, and crypto. So for example, if you wanted to track a sharp rise in a stock's price, breaking news, or volume information, Webull provides a lot of flexibility in the alerts that you can set up. You then have your paper trade portfolio, which is a completely fake trading portfolio. It's entirely practice, and this is a feature that I absolutely love about Webull, because if you have a new trading strategy that you wanna try out, you can practice it here 100% risk-free. I also put together a complete tutorial on how to use the paper trade feature within Webull, so definitely check out my Webull playlist page on my channel. By clicking the more button, you can access just about everything we just talked about in one place, from withdrawing and depositing funds, to applying for options or crypto, trading to changing the app display. Now for one of the most important parts of this video, let's jump into the portfolio tab and let's look at how to read and understand your portfolio, cost basis, each position inside your portfolio, orders, profit and loss, and all other features found in this tab so you can confidently get started with Webull. Starting off with the assets tab within our portfolio, we can view our positions as well as our account value. Starting off at the top, we can see the total account value, so the total of uninvested and invested money. We can view a breakdown of just cash or just the market value of our account, the day's profit or loss, and if we hit detail in the top right, we can view a breakdown of our account value over time based on different timeframes, asset allocation, so what is your money invested in, 
total market value, your buying power in which you can deposit and withdraw funds, and then you can view dividends received and interest received through things like the stock lending income program if you have that enabled. To view the positions in your account, they'll be listed at the bottom of the assets tab. You can view the company logo, name, and ticker symbol, and you can see the market value of your account. So if you owned 10 shares of a company worth $50 per share, this number would say $500. You can then view open profit and loss. So this is unrealized gain or loss relative to the average cost per share of your position. So since I bought into NVIDIA, I'm up $14. Of course, this is unrealized because I haven't sold yet. And then we can view the last price per share of NVIDIA, which was $138. 80 cents. Now, if you click on the position itself, you can view more information such as your average price per share and a total cost. Now, your average price per share is extremely important because this is the number that you'll use to determine whether you have a gain or loss on your stock. So when I bought these fractional shares of Nvidia, my average price per share was 121.27. Over on the profit and loss tab within your portfolio, you can view a detailed breakdown of your overall account performance. So the first chart here is showing me all-time profit and loss, both realized and unrealized. So if you look closely here, right under the big green number there, it says all realized P and L. I've actually lost $2.67 in this account because of a stock that I sold at a loss before. But because I haven't sold the Nvidia stock that is currently sitting at an unrealized gain, uh, that is still showing as a negative number. Now the next chart is one of my absolute favorites and that's because you can compare your account performance to the major indexes. So if we look here, my account percentage wise has outperformed the Dow Jones index with as little money as it actually has, but we could also change this to the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. Now on this chart, you'll see two different options, money weighted and time weighted. What does that mean? So the time-weighted rate of return removes the effects of cash flows like deposits and withdrawals, while the money-weighted rate of return includes those factors in your account performance. Scrolling down, you have even more breakdowns of account performance. So did a lot of your profit come from trading? Did it come from dividends? You can view a breakdown of profit from options, profit from stocks, and then you can view profit or loss based on individual securities. And finally, at the bottom of the screen, you can view a P&L calendar, which is a pretty cool feature to look at. On the orders tab, you can view a breakdown of different orders, whether you placed a limit order that hasn't filled yet, and that's listed under open orders. You can view today's filled and canceled orders, or if you have recurring investments set up, you can view and edit those order details here. On the transfers tab, you can do everything from depositing or withdrawing funds, initiating a transfer of stocks and other assets from another brokerage into Weeble, which I show you how to do in this tutorial here. And you can also view, link, or remove a bank account. On the history tab, you can view nearly any activity in your account from a list of order records to a list of dividend payouts. And over on the documents tab, this is where you'll wanna go if you are filing taxes. So you can access your monthly account statements or your year end tax document, or if you're transferring assets out of Weeble and you need your account number and other information, this is where you'll go to access that. Now that you know how to confidently navigate the Weeble mobile app, you'll want to check out this full tutorial on how to get started trading stock on the Weeble platform that covers everything you need to know to get started.